Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Ease Us Win 11 Builder. Pretty neat little way to download a Windows 11 ISO. Burn it to a thumb drive so that you can have a bootable thumb drive to install Windows 11. And optionally bypass TPM. Now before we get started, this page will be linked to in the video description to download it. Or there's a little eye usually pops up over here in the video. You can click that to jump to this page. I mention this because you can download Windows 11 now following this link here. If you want to go the hard way, or we might call it the normal way, you can download them from Microsoft, this link here, and you can download them through third-party websites. So just to give you some options as they load, the Windows Insider Preview is way down at the bottom, as you can see. And UUP Dump lets you pick whatever you want to build, and will download it for you. But I think you're going to agree that this app is the way to go. It just simplifies it, makes it really easy. So let me fire it up. It is a portable app, so all you got to do is run it, and you can delete it when you're done. Stick a thumb drive in before you start it. You cannot burn to CD or DVD. There's two reasons for that. One, the program doesn't do it, and two, probably because Windows 10 and Windows 11 will not fit on a CD or a DVD. So there we go. So you can see one of the things they're promoting here, because this program is completely free, is their OS to go. So I assume if you click on that, you're going to go to their web page. So yeah, it's a trial. So they're promoting that product, which is fine. So that's that. That's a neat way to get a portable Windows 11. But anyway, so you can see the drive is in. We're going to click Create right here. Your bypass TPM is here if you want to do it. Just simple check. And it'll build the bootable ISO to bypass it. That's all been changing, but regardless. All right, so there you go. So what you're going to get now is, I believe I'll have to check my own guide, about 20 minutes. Let me get this out of here. Yeah, 20 minutes or more. So at this point, you want to make sure that you have time to walk away before you get started. The other thing is, that's the download. After the download is completed, I have to also go through all the building and everything. It took me about, figure 45 minutes, but basically you're almost set it and forget it at this point. So I'm going to hit pause. And I'm going to come back in a little bit. And by then, we will have downloaded the ISO and then we can build the thumb drive with the program. So I'll be right back. All right, a little time's gone by, as you can see right here. And it keeps track of everything it's doing for you. So downloading the files, creating the ISO, formatting the USB drive, and then the final step, which would be, of course, creating the USB bootable disk. I think it names it Win 11 when it's done. Yeah, right there. So we'll take a look at that when it's done, which isn't too far off. But again, this is probably record time for me. It took much, much longer last time. So I guess it depends on the day and the download speed. But I'm going to grab pause one more time and we'll come back as soon as this is done. And we're back again. As you can see, we're at the tail end and one of the reasons I hit pause, of course, was it was, I believe, 12, what was it? We're at 12 minutes, and it said one minute remaining. As you can see, that didn't work out. And it says you successfully created a USB bootable disk. So let's take a look with Explorer. Here's my Z. And that's kind of what you're used to seeing, the auto run to INF, boot manager, and setup. So once you plug that drive in or leave it plugged in and reboot, you can boot off your thumb drive now and install Windows 11. you got to admit, it's pretty pretty easy it just simplifies everything for you so we'll close that out and hit exit now an interesting problem I also had was sometimes because it's temporary you want to just delete it because you're done as you can see it's stuck so let's take a look at task manager I had the same problem before and I there it is right there that should be the process alienwrap.exe that's part of the installation routine for all the ease of software which you probably wouldn't know so we'll right click, we'll end task, and hopefully now we can delete it. We'll also make sure that there's nothing under the E running for ease us. Uh, let's see here, just make sure we cover everything. And let's try it again. Nope. So whatever's stuck in here, I'm sure there's another process. I don't know which one it is. I don't see anything that rings a bell. There it is. Win 11 builder. Another thing you can do is if need be, just reboot if you 
if that's an option for you. But otherwise, once again, right click to end task or end task right here. Now let's try it. I'm not a big fan of that. There you go. Now it's gone. So the problem with it is that it's sitting in my temporary files and everything's running in there, so it's a little harder to find everything. Uh, not a huge fan of the way that works, but I'm telling you the program's great. It works really, really well. And whether you're a geek or not a geek, if you just want to grab Windows 11, kind of hard to argue that you can't beat doing it this way. As you saw, you download it, you run it, dot, dot, dot. Done. All right, so that's that. You know the drill, right? Bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. We always like to hear from you, of course. And don't forget to look for the link to this page. Whether you want to download the Win 11 Builder or download it yourself, all the links you need are right here on this page. There you have it. Thanks for watching, as always. See you.